rise and ground folks guys i am on the way to an existing customer we made a bunch of vlogs here before i know one of them was the heat pump was a job title the heat pump that almost made me retire a couple years ago that unit we actually replaced um i know this customer has a bunch of air handlers and heat pumps at least three or four if i'm not mistaken if not more but we replaced one of the, the air handlers and heat pumps that was for the second floor. I think the second floor guest bedroom. But guys, this customer called yesterday and said that um, the guest bedroom area is getting hot. I don't know if it's this unit that's on the side of the house that we installed or the other one. I think he has two units up there. But guys, I am almost there now. Let's go debunk it and see what's going on. I'll see y'all when I get inside. I just came from upstairs. The fan is blowing, but it's just blowing cold. It's just blowing uh, warm air. Cold air is not blowing out the vents. And this is the unit that we put in, which is the rain heat pump. This is what a two tonner. And guys, I just got outside. Nothing's running. I'm gonna check for power. I didn't go up in the attic to see if there's any float protection. I don't remember that air handler having a float switch, but I'm just checking my power out here. Worst case, if I don't have 24 volts between R and C, I'm gonna have to go back upstairs, but let's start first with checking what we can out here. And if we need to backtrack, we can make that assessment from there. All right, guys, let me check for power here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, my contactor is pushed in. I got no 240. And I don't have any 240 coming out here, going to my disconnect. Now the customer is in here, the housekeeper is here. I spoke to the housekeeper and he said that they didn't have any electrical power outages or anything funny happened recently with the power. But guys, let me go inside. I gotta see what's going on. I'll be back. Only three breakers or double pole breakers that were labeled AC were on. I flipped them all three off and then back on. I want to see if I got power and I still have my handle out on my disconnect. I'm going to see if I still got power. If that, and everything is on at the at the panel all the breakers are flipped on none was tripped but sometimes with older breakers i hate to say it sometimes they can trip and if something's going on with the lever it can still be in the on position i did see random things like that and if that happens you just flip it off and back on but if this is a constant issue then, then that means there's something going on with the unit out here that's causing that breaker to trip in the first place Hold on, guys. No, still nothing. Still nothing. We might be we might be looking at the wrong panel. They may have a third panel somewhere. This is awkward. All right, guys. Let's go back to the basement. All right, guys. The housekeeper said that these are the only two panels for the whole house. And everything is on. Not getting power. Even though they said it didn't have any power outages, they might have to have something reset at the generator. We don't really deal with generators, but what I'm going to do... I had to disconnect one of these once upon a time for the AC, but I think one of these two are probably tied to that second floor AC since that's an important area. I'm gonna probably look up some tech support on this because right now it says that if the light is on, that means the load is connected, but it's not flashing. Guys, let me look into this. I'll be back. All right. 
for you guys to work on generators. We don't. We just play with breakers, panels, and the unit itself. But this is a load management box. I believe I had to replace a contactor, which was a 240 volt coil contactor a couple years ago, but this one blinks. Both of these are for the second floor. This one blinks, this one doesn't. And look at this. I got power in and nothing out and I already flipped the breaker off and on like the entire panel off and on all three of my breakers for my heat pumps were on and the second floor main area was the only one that turned on but our unit didn't turn on and it looks like this contactor is pulled in. At this point, it's safe to start with the new contactor. The housekeeper doesn't know when the last time this got serviced. Like I said, we don't service generators, so I don't know if this is part of the service, but the only thing I can tell you is when these load management boxes fell, this will prevent the AC from running. So consider this another gadget with power going through it that could cause issues for your AC. They don't make it simple like they used to. All right. All right, guys, hold on. Let me turn this off. I think it was the bottom one. Just make sure I don't have any 240. And I want to see if I got another 240 volt contactor coil on my truck I should have one but you know another thing I can do before I grab that contactor to make sure that the contactor is the only issue I could just temporarily bypass it and then go outside and check for power as a matter of fact that's what I'm going to do let me get my flight head I'm going to do that I'll be back alright guys That's temporarily wire nutted. I still have my disconnect out. Outside, as a matter of fact, wait. Let me turn the power on. And since I know which one it is, it's that one. And now, Either one or two things are going to happen. Either it stays on, which confirms that this is the issue, or two, if the breaker trips without this bypass, then I know we have an external issue besides this going on at the unit. But follow me. Let me get my glasses. And let's go outside. I can turn the first floor back on. First floor is on. I can turn my second, my other second floor unit on. This is the breaker that controls that guest bedroom area that we're working on. All right, guys, let's go upstairs. I'll see you when I get outside. Hey, what's up? All right, all right, we're back outside, 248. So now what I'm gonna do is, as I apply power, check this unit for amps. If my amp draw is normal, then this just confirms that something's going on outside. Oh, well, something's going on with that relay. Critical mass. 
we got a thing generate for the job security, but this looks like a relay problem, boys. Let me see if I got another one. I'll be back. What's going on, guys? I am back in the estimate mobile. If you don't know what that is, that's my pickup. I got to shoot to another estimate. I think this is a one to three. But guys, yeah, um, the customer, he wasn't there. I was speaking through third party between him and the and the housekeeper. But he's gonna go through the electrician to either replace that box or fix what's broken in it. Guys, I had very intimate knowledge of those Generac boxes because either last year or two summers ago, I had to bypass one because it kept turning off the um, straight AC condenser for this customer. I think that's the call that we replaced her second floor AC. I was just out there last week. But yeah, guys, with those Generac boxes, I tried to find some literature to support what I was saying online, but I mean, it's really no rhyme or reason. Like, let's say if a customer had excessive power trips or if the if that condenser or if that heat pump was drawing excessive current for an extended amount of time, that's another thing. But guys, I think that might just be a wear and tear thing with, with the relays and contactors in those boxes. There's not really much you can do about it. And I know that that customer had that generator there or generators there. I don't know how many he has there, but he definitely did have it there for a couple of years. So, but what the customer said is that he's going to get his electrician to come out. I believe he said he has to come out anyway to do like a generator service or something. So he figured he killed two birds with one stone, but it sucks that the AC is not going to work until his electrician come out. But to each his own guys, but there you have it, no AC call. No power at the outside unit. It turned out to be a generator or generac box issue, not sending power to the disconnect. And at this point, guys, the only thing we could have done was offer to replace that contactor, but this customer is going to go through his electrician and they'll figure it out. But if that doesn't work, then you can always call us back. There you have it. Peace out. I got a rule. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.